In 2021, Hawaii's aquaculture industry hit a record high of close to $80 million, up 20% from the year before. But for perspective, Hawaii's total gross domestic product was $74.5 billion that year. KI tv 4s Diana Ko talks to some of the state leaders who say that we've got a ways to grow that industry, and it's all new at 6. Could Hawaii be doing more to use our oceans to grow food? These are images of a kampachi farm in Kona. One state senator has been pushing for years for more mariculture. We really need to look at the immense possibilities in the ocean for food sustainability as well as economic development. A 2022 state report says to feed a projected global population of 9.7 billion people in 2050, food production must increase by up to 56%. Land, clearly, is limited. Wakai is inspired by an oceans conference in Canada he just attended. They have the three important pillars to growing any industry. They have uh, uh, technical expertise, they have facilities, and then they have financing for it. We have none of that. We have cross your fingers and hope someone comes here and sets up shop. Given that we are an ocean state, do yes. you think that we really should be developing aquaculture. It just makes sense. Absolutely. Todd Lowe is in the state agriculture department's aquaculture branch. Food production isn't all he's advocating for. He says restorative aquaculture could also be big business. That's using seaweed and bivalves, which are oysters, that actually filter and clean the water. Wait, do I then get to eat the oysters? Um, Actually, you may not want to, depending on where they're situated, because we, you could put them in Pearl Harbor. Wakai, in the past legislative session, secured funding to add four more people to Lowe's team, and he continues to work on grant funding and public education. We've been talking for decades about uh, diversified agriculture, value-added agriculture, and 20 years later, it's one half of 1% of our GDP. I'm really betting on the ocean to be the driver for our uh, food sustainability needs. Both men say a sustainable ocean economy can create a triple win for people, nature and the economy. Diana Koki, ITV4 Island News.